Governor Mark Dayton signed a new law that plans to keep bicyclists and motorists safe on the roads. Haiti Clotter has the story. The next time you're out for a bike ride, it'll be a lot safer for bicyclists and drivers sharing the roads. A new law allows motorists to pass bicyclists in a no passing zone when it's safe to do so. The driver uh, with the ability to go into the other lane, it really gives the cyclist the benefit of more space as well. And I think that's a win-win for both drivers and cyclists. Kelsey Bryan has been biking since the age of six and says the new law is a good idea. As long as I don't get hit by a car, I think it's going to be pretty safe. <laughs> The law says bicyclists should ride as far to the right as possible away from the curb on the right side of vehicles and at least two feet away from the road edge. There are some safety precautions you can follow when riding a bike. An all blacked out setup isn't very easy to see. Uh, so having some bright yellows, bright orange, uh, having daytime running lights um, like, a, like a rear taillight flasher um, will also help. The Bemidji Police Department is also on board with bike safety. Their I Got Caught initiative rewards kids for wearing helmets when biking. Bemidji has a, a good grasp on um, a share the road. Um, we have specific bike lanes. We have paved trails. Um, so bike safety is huge and wearing your helmet is an important part of that. The Bicycle Alliance of Minnesota advocated the law and is a push to make the state more bike friendly and safe for everyone. In Bemidji, Haiti Clotter, Lakeland News. According to the latest Minnesota Motor Vehicle Crash Facts report of 2015, there was a 16% increase in bike crashes compared to 2014 and a total of 898 bike crashes. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.